Hey guys, welcome to our channel, please click the subscribe button, and click the bell icon and never miss another update from Ultimate Java. In this video, we will see about integration with web using Juice Servlet. What is Juice Filter? Apply this filter in web.xml above all other filters, typically, to all requests where you plan to use servlet scopes. This is also needed in order to dispatch requests to injectable filters and servlet. Here is the code which we need to add in web.xml file. This filter must appear before every filter that makes use of juice injection or servlet scopes functionality. Typically, you will only register this filter in web.xml and register any other filters and servlets using a servlet module. What is servlet module? Configures the servlet scopes and creates bindings for the servlet API objects so you can inject the request, response, session, etc. You should subclass this module to register servlets and filters in the configure servlets method. Servlet module is responsible for all the servlet mapping so instead of doing in web.xml or using annotation, we can do in class which extends servlet module. Configuration is like above syntax. What is juice servlet context listener? Servlet context listener is an interface that gets notified about servlet context lifecycle changes. It offers two methods. Context initialized is triggered when the web application is starting the initialization. This will be invoked before any of the filters and servlets are initialized. Context destroyed is triggered when the servlet context is about to be destroyed. This will be invoked after all the servlets and filters have been destroyed. Juice servlet context listener class as a logical place to create and configure your injector. This will ensure the injector is created when the web application or context is deployed or initialized and remove it when destroyed. Let's implement. Let's create new Maven project. Select the Maven archetype of op. Give some artifacted like Google Juice Web. Click on Finish. Project created successfully. Let's search for Google Juice Servlet Maven dependency. Copy and paste it in Palm XML file. We are not adding Juna test cases at this point of time, so remove this dependency. Search for Servlet Maven dependency also. Copy and paste this as well in Palm XML file. Add scope equal to providing so won't give any exception in JSP during compilation, and don't create any conflict with Juice Servlet. Let's remove JSP page. We will write message in response objects. Let's modify Web XML file, add code like I shown in beginning footer related mapping. create a folder for Java, actually that was missing. Create new package and it ends with servlet. Creating servlet using class otherwise add configuration in web XML file. So add new class called juice servlet. This class need to extends HTTP servlet. Override service method of HTTP servlet.
add something in response objects. Let's create new package for module. Create new class called juice module. This class extends servlet module. Servlet module is responsible for the mapping, which we did previously in WebXML or using annotation, override configure servlets method. So inside this method you need to map servlet with URL pattern. I hope you understood what I just did. Create one more package for listener. Listener also creating using class, otherwise automatically add configuration for listener in WebXML file. Create a class called Juice Listener. This class extends Juice Servlet Context Listener, and during creation ask to implement Servlet Context Listener and we don't want that. Override get injector method. Here you need to inject module, so create juice module object and annotate this class as web listener. And obviously add listener mapping in WebXML file. Let's run and see changes are working or not. Add goal so from next time onwards we can directly run. And click on run. Oops exception, let's see. It's coming because Surlet must be singleton. Add singleton annotation for juice servlet class. Now run again. See it's working now. Let's remove module, we can directly use in listener. So delete module package. So instead of passing our own juice module we can use servlet module and directly override configure servlets method. There you can serve your servlet with URL pattern. Let's run and see if it's working or not. See it's working. Let's create service layer. Create new package for service. Create interface called juice service. Add simple method declaration like say hello. Create service implementation package. Create a class called juice service implementation. Add juice service in this class. Put some message. In interface need to add annotation like implemented by which class. Now in juice servlet add newly created interface reference and add inject annotation. Now call say hello method using juice service. Let's run again. Service started. See it's working. Message coming from service implementation. Let's review whatever we added. Please like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.